When the pandemic occurred, so many people were losing their jobs uh, due to the pandemic. Um, the mortgage companies were highly incentivized to let folks go in forbearance. And forbearance just means you stop making mortgage payments, but and they don't foreclose on you. But when the forbearance is over, it's not a forgiveness program, it's just a forbearance. You owe all of those missed mortgage payments. And so then it's sort of like, oops, what are we going to do about that? And forbearances were offered just universally to folks that were experiencing financial challenges because of the pandemic and others that weren't, for, like our soldiers were offered um, forbearances. And most of them, unless they got COVID, um, you know, did not see any kind of interruption in income at all during that time. A lot of our um, veterans that we represent who are getting, you know, that stream of income coming from their VA retirement or their VA disability or a combination of both wasn't interrupted because of the pandemic. And they were offered a forbearance. They're like, why not? I don't have to make a mortgage payment for a while. That'd be great. Uh, but then, you know, my mother used to say, there's no such thing as a free lunch, <laughs> you know? So, oops, it's, so then what you're looking at is doing a modification. And uh, but under both administrations, President Trump and President Biden, there are now strong post-COVID mortgage modification regulations in place um, to help homeowners save their home because our government does not want, you know, whatever, 10 million people getting foreclosed on <laughs> in January of 2022. The problem is, um, even though you have these regulations in place, they break them. Um, and they are difficult to deal with mortgage companies and their servicers because it's especially when we're going to hit them with so many folks coming out of forbearance at the same time. It's just going to be a tsunami, they predict, in uh, the early parts of 2022. So we have been using this rather quiet time for bankruptcy for me to get very educated on the laws as they have changed and regulations because of COVID, during COVID. So when that hits, um, I know exactly what each servicer and what the government is requiring. And one thing I'll tell you, it is illegal for them to ask for the whole amount of debt due at once. That violates federal law. If they're doing that, you need to come see my office for a free consultation.